Hi, my name is Amitai, you can call me Schmanz, and I'm going to tell you something I hope is useful. Sweet. But first I'm going to let you look at some words by somebody smarter than me. To a database person, every nail looks like a thumb, or something like that. That's actually in the quote, or something like that. For example, <laughs> that. So, I'm not much of a database person, but I do have a preferred set of tools through which I perceive and manipulate the world. Wherever I go, whatever I do, uh, whatever kind of work I'm being asked for, when I need results, I'm more comfortable and more productive if I have the right tools at hand. So are you. Do you consistently bring those tools, you know, install them and, and configure them the way that you need uh, when you start a new job or upgrade your machine? I do. Because I have a list. That's actually not the complete list, but it's big enough to see that I wouldn't do this manually, especially because I'm building and installing all of these from source code. So these are my favorite unix -y development tools. Uh, no matter where I am, if I'm on OS X like this, if I'm on NetBSD, if I'm on Solaris or Irix or Aix or Windows or even Linux, I pretty much always compile and install all of these from source. Now, building all this stuff might seem like a lot of work, but if it were, I wouldn't do it. Those of you who know me, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you probably noticed the consistent naming, which is category slash name. And uh, if that led you to believe there was a package manager involved here, you're right. You know package managers. CPAN is for external Perl libraries. Gem is the same thing for Ruby. Uh, Homebrew is the same thing for command line tools on OS X. Package managers are great. They were app stores before there were app stores. But like app stores, they're almost always specific to a single OS or a single language platform. So if you do a bunch of things in a bunch of places, you're pretty much stuck needing to learn and use over time a whole bunch of package managers. Or are you? No, you're not. <laughs> Uh, this is a package system called Package Source. It was originally uh, derived from FreeBSD ports uh, for use with NetBSD, but now it is a cross-platform package manager. Sysadmins with root access on heterogeneous networks love this. You don't need root for what I'm about to tell you. So how to get Package Source? Step one, download it. You use CVS because we're from the dark ages. Step two, CD into a directory, step three, run this script with this argument, and now a few minutes later, you have built from source into home slash package, uh, all the tools that package source needs, and you're ready to go with package source itself. Now, uh, the point of this was that I bring the tools that I want with me. So here's how I do that. First, uh, I'm gonna pick a few out of that huge list. I'm gonna do ACK, which is better than grep if you're searching through source code. I'm going to do IkiWiki, which is better than any wiki engine you've seen. And I'm going to do Vim, because that's the side of the war that I'm on. <laughs> and I, for each of them, I go into those directories, I type make install, they're fetched, their dependencies are fetched, uh, they're configured, they're compiled, they're installed, uh, their contents are recorded, and their packages on my system. And it takes a few more than a few minutes, but it depends on your computer. Now, of course, any decent package manager, of which package source is one, can do a few things like tell you when you have security vulnerabilities from your installed packages. This is how package source does that. Uh, upgrade in place if you have newer packages and you want to get your system up to date, do that. If you installed something you don't like, one of the benefits of a package manager is getting rid of it easily. That's that. So uh, I made it sound really attractive, but package source is far from perfect. For example, the implementation languages are make said awk corn shell, but sometimes born shell, some C for the tools themselves, and I'm probably forgetting something. So it's annoying to hack on it sometimes. Uh, also, there's also a leaky abstraction, and there's some redundancy in that if you want to install, say, a Perl module, you would think that the fact that it's in CPAN with those build instructions suffices. In fact, you have to make a whole redundant package entry in the package system for package source. Uh, and some packages are incomplete, and some packages are missing. But, in my experience, package source is unique for even trying to solve this problem and is actually successful solving a very high percentage of it. So, to conclude, how much time do I have? 
Okay, I'm going to conclude right now. Uh, if you pick the right package manager, one is enough. Package Source is a cross-platform, open-source app store. Uh, use Package Source, and you can confidently and automatically bring the tools that you want to every machine that you work on in the same way forever. Thank you.